It has been a while since we have talked about my hometown where I currently live right here on this channel and that is Gainesville, Georgia. Gainesville sits in the middle of Hall County and is home to about 49,000 residents, including myself. In my opinion, the location of Gainesville cannot be beat. Now, in most parts of town, you are just minutes from Lake Lanier. In fact, if you want to live directly on the lake, this is one of the best towns, in my opinion, to do so. Not only do you have Lake Lanier right there at your fingertips, but you're only about 40, 45-ish minutes from the North Georgia mountains. Obviously, if you are the outdoorsy type, it is awesome to be so close to both the water and the mountains. Another huge benefit to living in Gainesville is that you are also so close to Atlanta. Gainesville sits about 45 miles north of Atlanta, so if you have a flight to catch or just wanna spend the day in the city, it is a straight shot down the interstate to Atlanta. Now, depending upon traffic, that drive is gonna take you anywhere between an hour to an hour and 45 minutes. It can be a little bit iffy. So a lot of people find Gainesville appealing because they don't want to feel like they're right in the city and deal with all of the traffic and the higher prices of being in the city. But they like the convenience of being able to get there in an hour or so, go to concerts and museums and all the amazing restaurants that it has to offer when you want to. So Gainesville is a bit far for most commuters. This is not going to be the town for you if you are having to commute into Atlanta on a daily basis. So again, you're not going to find people living here that commute into the city. Not that there might be some people, but this is not really the town that you want to be in if you're having to do that drive every single day. On the other hand though, if you want to experience everything that Atlanta has to offer, and having a really amazing town to live in, but kind of keep the cost of living lower than towns like Alpharetta or Johns Creek, this is something that should be on your list. One of the things that I have enjoyed living here in Gainesville is the fact that we are so close to a lot of other different cities. And to me, that's a really unique thing that makes Gainesville stand out when you're looking at other cities. You can go 45 minutes to the east and be in Athens and explore that town. You can go 45 minutes ish to the west and enjoy Marietta. Like I said, 45 minutes to the north, you've got the mountains and 45 minutes on a really good day, more like like an hour, hour and 15 minutes is going to take you down into Atlanta. That leaves lots of room for exploring and lots of room for weekend activities that you can do like festivals and events and concerts and everything at your fingertips in just a short drive away. Another thing that I personally have loved living here in Gainesville coming from a very, very flat South Georgia town, and that is the hills and the mountain views that we have here. You're not going to constantly have mountain views in Gainesville, and yet there's going to be a lot of places that you're going to be able to drive around town, and all of a sudden you're going to see the North Georgia mountains in the distance. It is beautiful, and I just absolutely love the scenery of, of Gainesville. Another great factor especially if you are relocating from outside of Georgia and you're not used to this, or if you were like me who moved from South Georgia to North Georgia, one of the pleasant surprises of being in Gainesville is that you get to experience four seasons. Yes, complete four seasons. Now, granted, the, the spring, summer-ish, it's gonna get warm and hot and it's gonna drag out a little bit, but you are gonna have a fall and you are going to have a winter. You get to wear sweaters and when I say that you get to have a winter, it's going to have snow flurries once a year. Knock on wood. I've been here seven years now, and every single year we have gotten to experience some flurries of snow. In fact, last year we had a freak one day snowstorm that it snowed a lot. Take a look at this footage that I filmed. It was so exciting as a South Georgia girl to see snow this much. That was a rare thing. And one of the things you have to know though is if it's gonna snow here, schools are closing, hands down. There's a threat of snow, schools are closing. Our school system, our roads, we're just not equipped to handle driving buses on icy conditions or snowy conditions nor do the towns up here have equipment, salt trucks enough to completely salt the entire area to make it safe for people, commuters to go out there and uh, drive their cars. Now I mentioned snow, but that also goes for ice. If there is a hint of a threat of, of icing on the roads, schools will shut down because school buses wanna make sure that they can get around safely as well. When it comes to shopping and living in Gainesville, you have a lot of fantastic options that are right here at your fingertips. 
like Target, TJ Maxx, Dick's Sporting Goods Academy, and you have a lot of good local chain restaurants as well. You got some really cute boutiques, but if you're looking for more of that mall type stores, you know, like Macy's or Ann Taylor Loft and Old Navy, well, no, we do have an Old Navy, but Ann Republic, those types of stores, you are going to have to get in your car and drive. So the good news is, is that there's lots of them that are just around 30, 40-ish minutes away. You have the Mall of Georgia, which is just about 20 minutes drive south on 985. If you are an outlet shopper, you're in luck because you have two outlet malls that are just a good 30-ish minute drive in either direction. We got Dawsonville and we have outlets in Commerce. Georgia as well so it's always fun to drive over there. So what is it really like living in Gainesville? Well there have been so many changes in the last couple of years ones that I'm so excited about and I have to share them with y'all. Now there has always been a charming downtown area that to me hands down has been like one of my favorite parts about living here when we got to this town and I saw the downtown area I was like oh, this is amazing it's so cute but in the past few years there's been many changes to the downtown area that has just plussed it and it's gonna make it so much better for everyone so everywhere you look in downtown Gainesville there is construction and renovations happening right before our eyes so right near the square in downtown and what used to be an old bank, there is currently an $80 million project going on that is transforming the space into a hotel with restaurants and apartments and mixed use space called the National. There's even rumored to be a rooftop bar that is going to be on top of that hotel and I cannot wait to uh, experience that. Also can't wait to have a really great hotel to recommend you to whenever you come into town and you are looking for a place to call home. There is also a huge apartment complex and retail space called Solace that lies at the end of what used to lovingly be referred to as the bridge to nowhere. Literally, there was a bridge that they built that went to nowhere. It was just empty space. Now, thankfully, someone with a great vision came in and put those Solace apartments and other mixed use retail space. We have got some really cool restaurants that are going in and you can walk across the bridge and be right into the downtown area. Now, if you live in the complex, you can walk right over the bridge to the downtown square and you can also access these restaurants that are going in there. We've got a coffee shop and a Mexican restaurant that is going in and I just cannot wait. So developments like this are helping bring more walkability to Gainesville, which is obviously appealing to so many people. One of the developers who worked on the expansion project made the comment that one of their biggest goals was to create the walkability that you would be able to have everything that you would need right at your fingertips without having to get in your car and drive somewhere. Another great place to walk nearby is Danny's Donuts. Great donuts. So if walking isn't your jam, you can hop on the new Gainesville trolley. <laughs> That's right, there is a new trolley that tinkers its way through Gainesville, giving you the full tour of town. It's free to hop on and off situation during the summer months and again in the fall Christmas season. So it's gonna take you from the downtown square to Bernal University campus, the Quinlan Visual Arts Center, City Park, the Atlanta Botanical Gardens uh, for their Gainesville campus. It'll also take you all the way out to Lake Lanier Olympic Park, Francis Meadows Aquatic Center, North Georgia Medical Center, Midland Greenway, and it goes on and on, even the Gainesville Skate Park. So this is a really fun way to see the town, and I think it lends to the charm of Gainesville as well. It also kind of eliminates having to deal with trying to find parking everywhere you go. This is something that you would find in like bigger towns like Charleston, South Carolina, or heck, even Savannah. So Gainesville does have some absolutely gorgeous historic buildings and homes that are now used for businesses right down off of Green Street and there are several streets of old southern houses that have been updated but still have that whimsical southern charm to them. This is one of the things I really love about Gainesville. You've got a great mix of new urban development but you still have all of that great southern charm. There is a new restaurant and tap room that just opened called Standard Service that locals are so excited about. It's got this great retro feel to it opened up in an old gas station. Another thing that we're really excited to open and they've just broken ground on this is Bourbon Brothers Smokehouse and Tavern and Boot Barn Hall. Say that three times fast. This is going to be a music and event venue and it will also obviously smokehouse. It's going to be a restaurant. 
In that restaurant, they're gonna have a huge bar with a fantastic outdoor patio as well. We also have an old shopping center that's going to be torn down and revitalized into luxury rental community with 161 townhomes and 70 single family cottages with a village style retail and community amenities. Obviously, there are a ton of improvements and additions going in Gainesville that I think is going to help bring some new life into some areas that have kind of sat unused for many years and it's definitely gonna help stimulate the local economy. It's also gonna give you that place where you wanna go on the weekends and have places to take family that are in town, several places that you can take them to rather than just kind of like your one or two favorites that you may have. Of course, to go back on what I just touched on before, one of the best parts of living in Gainesville to me is Lake Lanier. So Lake Lanier is huge man-made lake that spans five counties, including much of Gainesville. This offers ample opportunities for camping, fishing, water sports, public beaches, and everything in between all over Gainesville. You've also got two marinas in Gainesville you got Port Royale and Gainesville Marina. So even if you don't own a boat, you can go and rent one and take advantage of the lake and all that it has to offer. This weekend is July 4th weekend, which is a crazy weekend on the lake. And any major holiday draws huge crowds to the lake. But since it's so large and expansive, you're still gonna find plenty of spots on the lake if you're out there on a boat that's not gonna be completely covered up with people. And of course, if you're not enjoying the lake by boat, we have many public parks and beaches that you can take advantage of the lake that way as well. Now, when it comes to home prices, currently the average price of a home in Gainesville is $515,000. That is quite expensive and that's kind of jumped up here recently. But if you compare that to Johns Creek, Alpharetta, or Milton that we've recently talked about, that is dramatically lower than any of those areas. And you can find parts of Gainesville, Northern Gainesville, where you can find the average price point of a home much lower than that. But if you're looking at just kind of in the city area, you are gonna be looking at those price points of around 515,000. And of course, if you decide that you want to live on a lake, now that is going to cost you significantly more than that $515,000 price. You're looking closer to 750 to a million dollars, especially if you want a house with a dock. So what do you think? Does a Southern charm and lower cost of living make you want to move to Gainesville? My team and I would love to help you do just that. 